What's up, YouTube? What up, friends and fam? It's your boy, Kenny Lucas, back at it with another video. Let's go! Let's get right into it, man. Um, so this video, it's probably one of the hardest videos I have to make, or maybe the realest, maybe not the hardest, but probably like the realest I'll ever, I've ever made, because I just want to share with you, I grew up, uh, how I grew up, my personality, my traits, whatever. So I grew up as a shy person, right? I'm I'm still a pretty shy guy. Like, believe it or not, I know I hop on these videos and talk my ass off. Um, but growing up, I was always the quietest kid in class. Um, I never really liked school, so it kind of made me go, like, internal and just, like, fuck. Like, I focused on other things. Anything but school to make me escape, that's what I was doing. Like, in my mind, I was just, you know, obsessing over something or obsessing over that, what I'm going to do after school. And very rarely, I was ever in the moment when it came to school. Um, I think back to, like, kindergarten days and preschool days. All I wanted to do was play recess, and all I really wanted to do was hang out with my dad. Um, I had my first crush ever in uh, kindergarten, Hunter, <laughs> Hunter O'Brien. Um and that really, I was like, wow, like, this is awesome. It, like, kept me coming back to school over and over again just so I could look at her and try to talk to her. You know what I mean? But that's pretty much where my head was at pretty much growing up through school. I hated it because I just felt like I've always been a leader and I was always, like, a cool kid. You know what I mean? Like, I was athletic. My parents taught me how to play sports. So I was always in an athletic and top-notch athlete. But it was just the the whole social aspect of school. I didn't fit well when when we're just like sitting here, like even to this day, I, I, I don't fit well into it. And I've learned that it's okay. I used to think there was something really wrong with me because I find it tr hard to sit there in class for six hours a day and keep like that optima that, that PMA, the optima optimistic attitude that I talk about. And I used to look at that and be like, fuck, what's wrong with me? Because I would sit there and not talk to anybody, like very, very few people who I would really talk to. Um, and, you know, if it was just class, it was like I was afraid to speak out in the class. I was afraid, like, I just was afraid what I was saying. And I just wanted it always to be perfect. So I didn't really talk. You know what I mean? Um, and it was just. It, but that right there, it's like, I, I don't know how to describe it. I think that's what led to like me first experience depression because I was just thinking these thoughts instead of really voicing them and being able to get them out into the air. I was just very quiet. And yeah, I'm a shy person, but I think at heart, I'm, I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, I think my true way of being is loud and like a leader and showing people how to do things and, you know, having a good time. I don't think I'm ever made to be quiet, if that makes sense. So I really thought there was something wrong with me growing up. And like, you know, I wasn't really made fun of for it, being quiet. Yeah, a little bit. And that is it, that hurt so much, man. When somebody used to say, like, say we were sitting at class or something, we're in a group and um, it would just make me so nervous. I'd just be sitting there and just not talking and just kind of listening and then like somebody would look at me and be like, do you even talk? Like that shit hurt, man. Like <laughs> that really hurt. Like I, I still, I still get, you know, it's gotten a lot fucking better, but like I still get that way sometimes. Like if I'm in a group and you know, if I'm not controlling the conversation and talking, then I get that way. I get, I choke up. That's why if I ever go to a meeting or if I meet with more people than one, I'm always the first one to speak now. I find that's like the best way for me to get over that is just like speak first, keep speaking, keep talking. I don't want to be some fucking loud mouth that's not learning anything either. So it's a, it's a fine balance in between. Um, but that's just something I always struggle with, man. I'm, I'm sure there's other people out here that have been struggling with that, still struggling with it, whether it's at work or class. Um, just here to tell you that it is okay. There's a fucking cure for it. It's called action. <laughs> It's called action and doing what you really want to do. There's plenty of money out here for everybody to start their own business or, or do whatever. Um, and so I really made this video because I watched a Kanye West video yesterday and it fucking blew my mind. It still is to this day. I'm pretty sure like 
um, I've been enlightened, you know what I mean? I never thought I'd get enlightened by Kanye West, but you never know who's going to enlighten you. But he enlightened me on what it means to actually fear God. Like the way I've heard people say Lil Wayne, everybody, like some people are like, oh yeah, fear God, you know, like, which they do, they fear God. But like the way Kanye broke it down to me, is like, I finally understand. I hope somebody can pick this up too. Cause it's like, I only fear God. Like I only fear God. That's so powerful. Like I'm not going to fear no more being the quietest person in class, or I'm not going to fear no more what this person has to say to me, or if I say this and I get this back and, you know, I'm not going to fear that no more. What really matters is fearing God. So as long as you know you're doing the right thing, which we all have a gut, we all have these internal thoughts that's the authentic voice of God, that's what your conscious is. As long as we're listening to these and, you know, not feeding into that negativity or the devil, um, all we have to do is fear God. That other shit, it's like... It doesn't fucking matter. Like, I, w I was using it this morning, you know? Like, I always get so pissed off when somebody fucking tailgates me first thing in the morning. The lights are on my truck, blah, blah, blah. And I feel like I have to drive fast, but I don't want to because I don't want to get a speeding ticket, blah, blah, blah. So my mind goes into this fucking frenzy, but then I wind up getting pissed off at the guy behind me. And what I've realized, it's a weakness on my point because I'm fucking afraid of them. It's not anything else except that I'm afraid of them. How they want to act, they want to act, whatever. That's between them and God. Only I can control what's between me and God. You know what I mean? So in a situation like that, I fear God now. I don't fear the person behind me. Um, I just don't. Like, it's just... Yeah, I feel like, like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders now. Ever since last night, ever since I watched that video. It's fucking... It's, it's awesome. Like... I don't have to fear nobody no more. I can speak my mind and do the right thing as often as possible. Um, you know, I realized how much in the trap of society I've fallen victim to. You know what I mean? I'm huge on don't be a victim, don't be a victim, don't be a victim. But then I realized I was being such a fucking hypocrite because I've been the biggest victim out here. Just falling into the trap of getting pissed off the guy behind me. Um, more times than not getting road rage over it it's like i'm being a hypocrite you know what i mean like i i, I can't let that affect me no more i've god in my life all i have to do is fear god and everything else will take its place um i, I really want to speak on this topic more i don't know what else to say about it because i'm still thinking about it and still coming up with ways to remind myself and kind of make it make it clear cut what that means to me but i will definitely keep you in the loop with that but anyways, um, so I asked him a mentor of mine a couple of days ago. He was at, he actually owns a trucking company that I was going to go drive for back last year. And then we've become friends and I'm like, you know, let me get some mentor advice for about this and about that. And one of the biggest tips he gave me the other day, it was about last week. He was like, the number one thing you can do right now to make as much money as possible is real estate. He's like, look at real estate. You don't need the Tesla. You don't need the fucking whatever else it is that's going to prohibit you from making that. And then I started thinking about it. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, he's fucking right. He's a Jewish guy. You know what I mean? He's from Israel. So he knows his shit. Um, and I was like, damn, you, you know, that that's, that's so true. And then it's funny because I've been putting it out there into the universe. I talked to a lady today from Rehoboth. And we get to talking this morning, like there, there was like a 7 a.m. call, you know what I'm saying? Like it was one of those. And she started telling me that she has a fucking plot of land. You know, I'm going to rent a plot of land, land from her this season for my salt and sand so I can do my thing with that. Um, but she has a plot of land for sale for 50 grand. And she said it's farmable. You know what I mean? You can't really build a house on it or any of that. But I'm like, damn, 50 grand. Like I can get that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can own fucking land. Like, fuck owning a Tesla, you know what I mean? A Tesla, I buy it for 70 grand or 100 grand, and then it de depreciates day by day. I might be wrong with that because I heard something like Tesla is supposed to be, you know, converting it into a robot. It's going to be worth millions of dollars on Tesla. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, that plot of land will be with me to stay. I'll have it. My kids will have it. Anybody who I want to share it with, can I share it? And, 
you know, it's funny because I've been really looking into cultivating hemp now. Um, you know, it's like the answer. Hemp is the answer. I've always wanted a farm, always. Ever since I can remember, I've always had a vision of having a farm. And now I finally know what crop I want to grow, and that's hemp. It's industrial hemp. It's not It's not weed. You know what I mean? It's not. You don't get high off this shit. Um, it's used for everything. It's pretty much used for the production of like what we're using petroleum for now. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to take over petroleum all in all. I don't know. I don't know if we can power cars off it and shit like that. But I know we can make clothes from it we can make some sort of plastics from it um everything that oil does that's bad for the economy bad you know like this water bottle it's gonna take fucking i think something like 500 years to decompose if you make the same thing out of hemp i don't know how it's gonna look if it's clear or not i don't give a fuck if it's clear honestly like people need to get the fuck over that um but it's gonna be able to you know break down fast you know what i mean i think within a year or something it's going to decompose and that's so much better for the fucking universe um that it's such a good time to start a hemp farm now um and get the fucking balls rolling ball rolling on that one so that that's where my head's at this morning um this winter's been rough guys like i'm gonna be honest it's been rough i just went through a breakthrough with rachel um and I just notice how lonely I am, you know what I mean? Um, I do miss her, she's a great person, but like, then I realized something, I'm like, man, I, I gotta be okay with being me, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's where these deep searches have come in, that's how I found this Kanye West video that changed my fucking life. If you guys want that video, just message me on Instagram or Snapchat, whatever, I'll send it over to you, it's pretty powerful shit. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just the vibe today, man, like... <laughs> Change man, bro. Change man. I'm going to be listening to a lot of Christian rap and shit like that. Um, I've just noticed all the stuff I've been filling my head with is fucking garbage. You know what I mean? Um, but with that, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Peace.